Hello dear friends, this is Yule Humphreys here, share with you another word from the Bible. Just a very short message entitled, Forgiven But Not Forgotten. Praise the Lord. May God bless these few words as they go out all over the world and may it be a blessing to your heart. Amen. I speak to you of the fact that we are forgiven. We are forgiven because God loves us. We are forgiven because He has made a way to forgive us and cleanse us from all our sins. He is a righteous, holy God and therefore He wants to forgive but he, we must recognize that He is, uh, 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 he is going to have, to have to see that our sins are paid for because He's righteous. <clears throat> therefore, he sent His only begotten Son into the world, Jesus Christ. came out of the Godhead, part of, part of God Himself. And He went to that cross and paid for our sins. And when we believe in Him, we're saved and forgiven forever. I like that scripture found in the book of, of Hebrews. And uh, in the uh, ninth chapter of, of Hebrews, <clears throat> it says, Now if the blood, if the blood of the bulls and goats was sufficient to, to cleanse uh, those of the Old Testament, how much more shall the blood of Christ without spot and through the Holy Spirit who gave himself for us cleanse us from dead works to serve the living God. If the blood of bulls and goats could cleanse those in the Old Testament looking forward to Christ, how much more, now that his precious blood was shed, how much more shall the blood that he shed without spot by the power of the Holy Spirit cleanse our conscience from dead works to serve the living God. The Lord will cleanse you from every sin, but you need to believe in Jesus. You may need to believe in him as the Lord of your life. He saves us because he's the only one that paid for our sins. He saves us because he's the only one that rose from the grave the third day. He saves us because he's coming back again to receive us unto himself. And so we need to recognize that one day everyone will stand before him and give account. And so we need to realize that Jesus Christ is Lord. And through him we're forgiven. We're forgiven. But praise God we're loved <laughs> and not forgotten. The Bible says in, in the book of, uh, of Psalms 51, it says, uh, <clears throat> Wash me from my sins. Wash me and I shall be clean. And then in verse 7, Purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. And we're washed in the precious blood of the Lamb. And we're clean because God forgives us. He forgives us of all sins. Martin Luther claimed that he had a dream one night. And in the dream he said that it, it was an angel standing by a chalkboard. And he began to write a copy of the sins of Martin Luther. And then he began to list those sins, all of them. Every word that he had said wrong, every thought that was wrong, every deed that he had committed, every part of his life that he had committed wrong was listed on there. Just listed one after another. And he said, I lay there and realized I was in a terrible situation. And then there came up a, a hand that bore the marks of the nail, a nail scarred hand. And it wrote on the top of the board, the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. And the angel took a racer, raced all the sins away. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. First John 1 and 9. And he awoke and said, praise God. And so it is with you and me, dear friend. I want you to know that if you have trusted Christ, your sins are all forgiven, all of them, and you are washed in the blood. And you know now that you can go and be, <clears throat> be a child of God because you're born again and you belong to God. I want you to be sure you're born again. You're born again when you believe in Jesus. Jesus said in John 3, verse 5, Truly I say unto you, unless, unless one is born of the water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter <coughs> into the kingdom of God. There's some controversy over just what he meant by born of those water <coughs> and the Spirit. But I think the next verse explains it. 
He said, <clears throat> those that are born of the of water, they were born the natural birth. And they that are born of the Spirit is born of the spiritual birth. Therefore I said unto you, you must be born again. And so here he's explaining that the water is concerned with this natural birth, a water birth. He that's born of the water. But you must be born of the water and of the Spirit, of the Spirit of God, when you believe in Jesus in order to enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, the water birth, but that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. And you must be born again. So when you believe in Jesus, my friend, you're born again. You belong to God. You're now His, and you're not your own. And you're forgiven. You're forgiven, but you will never be forgotten. You're forgiven, but you'll never be forgotten. You need to trust everything to the Lord and give glory to God. Over in Psalm 115 it says, Not to us, O Lord, not to us. Oh, because, uh, but may it be to your glory, to your name, because of your love and your mercy. Not to us, but because of the Lord's mercy and grace. Because He loved us so much. Because He loves you right now. He forgives you of every sin, and He cleanses you from all iniquity in His sight. Now, you're not perfect. You continue to make your mistakes. I know that, and I will too. But they're all covered in the blood, and they're all washed away by that precious blood. And we're clean. Oh, hallelujah. Thank God for the precious love of the Lord and the grace of Christ. It's all in His hands. Vance Habner has said something like this. He said that the way to overcome is to be shipwrecked on God and stranded on the island of faith. <laughs> That's pretty good. We need to be shipwrecked on God and stranded on the island of faith. That's the way we live for God and abound in Him and abide in Him. And when you abide in Jesus, then you will find and follow the way of the Lord. You'll please God and you'll overcome. And when you stumble and fall, you'll get up every time and you'll keep going because God keeps loving and keeps forgiving. You are forgiven, but you are never forgotten. Joshua 1 and 9, it says, Heaven I, I commanded you, be strong and of good courage, for the Lord God is with you wherever you go. So wherever you go, dear friend, the Lord goes with you. He'll never forget you because you belong to Him. And remember, remember, God forgives. He forgives. And so you need to forgive others because He's forgiven you. You need to forgive others because He's forgiven you. We pray in the Lord, what we call the Lord's Prayer, the model prayer. Lord, forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. The little, <clears throat> the little uh, five-year-old boy came home one, from, from church, and that night <coughs> uh, the preacher had preached on forgiving and because God forgives us. And uh, he was praying and he said, Dear Lord, forgive me of my waste baskets. <laughs> forgive me of my trash baskets. Even as I forgive those who put trash in my baskets. <laughs> a pretty good prayer. And so we need to realize that God is a great forgiver. And we need to forgive others. <coughs> and let the Lord be your strength, your hope, your help. Let Him direct your way in life right now because He loves you. Pray a simple prayer and say, Lord, forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe He died for me and rose again. I believe He's coming back. Come in my heart. Help me live for you as the Lord of my life. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. And remember, you find your good church and attend it. And follow the Lord. And worship Him. And remember... You are forgiven, but never, never forgotten. Amen.